Final day of the Legends stage is upon us. Welcome back to the HLTV Recap Show presented by GG Bet. There's still three more games to play, three more playoff spots up for contention. There's a lot of big names left in the tournament at this stage that are going to be unceremoniously evicted from the tournament based off a loss today. You can see the matchups we have for you right on your screen there. The last dance took center stage today while another group of Brazilians faced off against one of the deadliest young talents in the game. In the middle was a battle to determine who wears the crown of Danish Counter-Strike. The final playoff spots are up for grabs here in Antwerp. We're going to get right into the games. Copenhagen Flames Imperial. Take a look at these old guys. Fallen saying a chance to play on the big stage again would be a dream come true. Fallen and Fur have been great through this Imperial run, rolling back the years, especially last night versus Cloud9. That's the kind of win that can intimidate an opponent, but perhaps not the Copenhagen Flames. This is the co-owner and founder of the C Copenhagen Flames, giving some good reasons why his team doesn't have to be worried at all. Tough to argue with the evidence and just in case they needed a little bit more, here's Nikodaz and Zyphon in the legend stage to provide some extra confidence, putting up solid numbers. Nothing crazy, but then again, this squad has gotten by on teamwork without any truly established big time star. First map was all flames, 13 to two at half. Two was all Imperial would be able to put on the scoreboard. I don't know how else to put it and recap it for you. Only Vinny having any real impact for the Brazilian side. Meanwhile, for the Danes, all five brought their game on Inferno. After the win versus Cloud9 yesterday, this match had some real excitement and emotion around it. This was a stone cold way for the Flames to shut down that distraction and get on with business. Imperial had absolutely nothing. Vertigo looked as if it was going to go the same way when the Flames started off up 9-3, but finally we saw Imperial set their feet, start chipping away a little bit slowly. They win 7 of the final 10 rounds in offense, and Fallen has his boys back in contention. Vertigo had good showings from Fur and Bolts, both with 29 frags, but no more dancing for these guys. Copenhagen Flames takes the playoff spot in a grueling double overtime victory. They succeed today at the exact same spot they failed back in Stockholm. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to Zyphon. You can see he's going to have a fantastic match of this series. Easily the player of the match. 54 kills, 24 deaths with a 1.54 rating. Absolutely phenomenal. He'll be on the big stage, the playoff stage this weekend. Unfortunately for Last Dance, that Cinderella story, I guess it would be, kind of comes to a close here. Uh, really unfortunate, but we love the fun that it gave us. Rematch from Ian Katowice between Heroic and Vitality is up next. Back when Vitality's new roster had barely spent time together, Heroic had beat them 2-0 in that game. We can track how far they'd come. Stout at that point was really starting to come into his own. I think it's safe to say he's finally got there. Ready to start taking on the mantle of a true star player for this Heroic team. 1.22 rating coming into this game. He's looking to be the next gen of Danish Counter-Strike and on the other side, Zaiwu needs no introduction. He's been quiet, avoiding the limelight, but still there in the shadows and still putting up big numbers as usual. We start things on Mirage. Heroic's defense was impenetrable. Vitality threw everything at them, and not until the eighth round did they get one of their own wins on the board. It was 13 to two at half, and they'd close things out easily. This was just dominance from Heroic. Absolutely spectacular to see them shut things down. Everything went their way. Look at Stown's performance here creeping up behind. Apex would get a double kill right here, ended up with three. Overpass is gonna get a bit wild though. I'm gonna let Vince and Megas show the goods. Now, not much time on the clock. And Heroic will need to make a decision and stick with it. Damage done. Two on the monster, but they've still pushed up. And this player's running with their knives out. They have no idea. And Magus with three deeks shuts the round down. Shush can do little but try and run oh! in. And Magus smacks him upside the head too. Ended up being an ace for Magus, and he wasn't done there. 22 kills for him, 91.5 ADR. He led the way for his team. They needed every ounce of game from him today in this map, in this series. An incredibly close affair. Heroic make a small comeback. They're going to fall short 16-14 Vitality on overpass. And there's one final map. Keep in mind, Astros was eliminated in the challenger stage. These are the last members of the greatest lineup ever that are still in major contention. Both teams have their stars in the way, but it's Stown who is able to reach a completely different level. 1.80 rating in this game. He helped Heroic off to a massive run early in the map, providing a lead they never relinquished. Two star players going head to head, as I mentioned. Stown on another level today, even over that of Zaiwu. He truly was a difference maker. 28 kills more than the next closest player in the server. He had no equal. Heroic move on to the playoffs of PGL Antwerp and establish themselves as king of the Danes. Fury has been knocking on the door of this kind of a breakthrough for years now. G2 is the last obstacle in front of them, more specifically these two. Thunder and Lightning, Nico and Monacy. A dangerous pairing it is, but they'll be also competing with the pressure of Nico's legacy. 
10 major appearances leading into Antwerp, only reaching the playoffs in four of them, and obviously two extremely difficult losses in the finals of majors as well. And these are what the Brazilians would call standout players. Thanks to my boy Zeus for the translation, hoping for a speedy recovery for you, sir. Yuri and Kay Serrato looking to drag Fury across the legend stage finish line. And you can see here the maps, Vertigo, Inferno, Ancient. Yanko with a bit of foreshadowing, not happy with how the veto played out from the G2 perspective. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. Map one is a hard fought battle between these teams and it looked like G2 had control of things behind a solid performance from Monacy's Frags. Hunter would get a nice 1v2 clutch, but that's quickly overshadowed by Case Serrato's ace to bring Furia to map point. Actually at one stage of this game, Furia and G2 were tied 11-11 and apparently Furia remembered to make a wish. They took six of the last seven rounds to take map one overall. G2's pick of Inferno is up next, back against the wall. Elimination on the cards and G2 still had a tough time of things. Fury Furia stuck in this game every time it looked like G2 would run away. Nico had a great defensive half, 17-9 as CT with 112 ADR. Great teamwork down the stretch and late round scenarios for G2, it was sorely needed. A couple of impact rounds from Alexi B mixed in and G2 would take Inferno 16-14. Kay Serrato is going to come so close to having this clutch, just going to fail at the final hurdle. It's all decided here on Ancient. Furia's offense put a dent early on with a four round streak for the G2 defense behind Monacy and Hunter held strong. Second half was all Furia though. K Serato helped kick, thing, kick things into a new gear with 16 kills, two deaths, 120 ADR on the CT side alone. Art also strutted his stuff for a bit with 130 ADR. This Furia defense on Ancient had no holes in it. 11 to one in the second half. That goes back to Yanko's tweet being very worried about this map being left in the pool. Obviously G2's offense didn't have much to go on. And man, another Brazilian team that we get to cheer on from the sidelines as their dream comes true. Hunter versus Case Serrato, an incredible matchup between these two guys. And unfortunately, Hunter is going to come out on the losing end of it this time around. That's it. That's the legend stage entirely complete. We're now two thirds of the way through the major in its entirety. We have the playoffs coming up over the weekend, but quickly before we get there, let's take a look at the maps that have been played throughout this, uh, this legend stage. You can see Dust2 is not getting a whole lot of love right now. Mirage, although wildly widely called for the map that needs the most changes, also the most played here in the legend stage. So that's a little bit interesting. Playoff draw coming in hot. Phase NIP, I think that one has a little bit of an upset danger written all over it. Spirit Spirit Furia, I think is gonna be an absolute banger. I'm excited to see Dexter and Patsy. And I'm a huge fan of, I think they're gonna go deep. They have a chance to make it to the finals. Navi Heroic as well, intense. A word from our sponsor, GG Bet. You can use code HLTV for first bet insurance and an extra percentage on deposits, depending on how close we are to the major final. We're getting pretty close now. More information is available in the YouTube description. Please gamble responsibly. That's it, that's our show. Thanks for tuning into the HLTV recap show presented by GG Bet. Lovely having you guys for the legend stage, obviously a day of rest and relaxation. Then we get into the arena. Then we pack the fans in and then we crown a Counter-Strike champion. We'll see you guys there. Esports is what we live and breathe. For us, it's more than a game. It's a reality where a group of letters can mean everything. Where Mirage is a place for bombs, battles, and glory. Not an illusion. Where the true heroes are those in front of the screen. GG Bet. This is real.